Hello, it's Carla Thompson. Today I'm going to read a book called The Hunter and the Woodpicker, an Indian legend. Long ago there lived a young Sioux brave named Two Eagles. Two Eagles had fallen in love with a beautiful maiden named Wind Dancer. As daughter to the chief, to a chief, she was proud and spoiled. She had made up her mind that no man in the tribe was good enough for her. Seeing that his friend was sad, Yellow Tail decided to ask the young brave, what's wrong? I am in love with the beautiful wind dancer, Two Eagle said. Have you told her how you feel? asked Yellow Tail. I cannot, he replied. She has turned away. Even the bravest of warriors, I am only a poor hunter. I am not worthy of her attentions. Yellow Tail scratched his head and thought, perhaps if you had some elk medicine, she would notice you. Elk medicine, Twebo asked. Hoya replied his friend. He said that the elk wise and swift owns a great love charm. If a man captures the elk's magic for himself, no woman can resist him. It will also make him a lucky hunter. <clears throat> the next day, two eagles gathered up his bow and arrows. He went out searching for elk medicine. After many hours, he finally sighted his game. He was skilled with a bow, but the elk was clever. It managed to stay just out of range, leading him on and on. Two eagles was so intent on following his prey that he hardly noticed where he was going. Soon the forest around him grew dark and strange. The elk had vanished and two eagles was lost. It was too dark to find his way home, so the young hunter decided to wait till, until morning before starting back. He rolled himself up in his warm fur robe and tried to fall asleep, but he could not rest because the forest was full of strange noises. He heard the howling of the wolves, the hooting of an owl, and the scary sound of a wind blowing through the trees. Two eagles lay awake listening to the noises. It was as if he were hearing them from very, from the very first time Sunday there came a different sound. It was a sound he had never heard before. It was sad and ghostly. And Two Eagles wondered what forest spirit sang to him. It made him afraid and he pulled the blanket over his head. Before he knew it, Two Eagles was fast asleep. He began to dream about a red-headed woodpecker who appeared singing a song, the same haunting melody the hunter had heard. Follow me, the little woodpecker said. There is something I want you to see. It was already daylight when the young hunter awakened. Above him, he saw the little woodpecker sitting in a tree. Come on, the little bird said. Follow me. Two eagles followed the bird from tree to tree. Suddenly, he heard the same strange song that frightened him the night before. Flying towards the sound, the woodpecker danced through the leaves. Leading the hunter on, his bright red head made him easy to follow. Finally, the little bird landed in a hollow cedar tree. It began to hammer on one of the branches. Two eagles watched as it continued to pound, making a noise like a fast beating drum. Suddenly, there was a gust of wind. It entered the hollow branch and blew out through the tiny woodpecker holes. Again, the hunter heard the beautiful melody. Little friend, Two Eagles said, let me take this branch home with me. You can always make another if you wish. The woodpecker gave him the branch to the young hunter. Two Eagles walked back to his village, bringing no elk medicine, but happy just the same. Later that night, the young hunter slipped away from his village. He climbed a lonely hill where he could try out his cedar wood branch alone. While Two Eagles played his haunting song, drifted down from the hill, 
and awakened the beautiful maiden he had long adored. <clears throat> when Natsu sat up in her bed, she listened to the wonderful sound as if, the ma if by magic her feet began to move towards the door. She tried to pull back her feet, kept going. Her head said, go slow, go slow. But her feet said, faster, faster. She climbed the hill and saw the young man standing in the moonlight. She knew she should not go to him because he was poor, but she could not help herself. Like a bee to honey, she was hopelessly lured. Two eagles <clears throat> were surprised when he saw the young woman, even more so by the smile that brightened her face. She stood there blushing, her eyes full of love. Young man, she said, Sumi, I am yours forever. Send your gifts to my father, no matter how small. You and I shall marry and make music together. Soon all the young men began whittling cedar branches. Beautiful love music traveled from tribe to tribe, and that's how the flute was brought to the people. Not every man uses it to catch his bride. Mm -hmm. Thank you.